Well, everyone, Scott Stonebell coming to you live from San Francisco, California. It's February 13, 2015, 4.55 in the afternoon, and I wanted to put a, a series together for brand new salespeople. So if you're brand new out in the field, this is gonna be the perfect way for you to understand what sales is, what sales isn't. And I think I'm probably gonna do like 12, maybe 13 videos. And you know what, I might even add to them. But just start right now, I think I got 12 on the list. But what you need to know is sales is a very demanding job and it takes like a lot of mental capability. And I like to compare it to golf because golf is like a game that's like physical, but it's also mental. It's the same thing that happens with sales. It's also, you know, you have a bunch of knowledge, but it's all the things that happen in your head and it's a very demanding job. And you know, people will tell me like, you know, all you did was sell a bunch of stuff today why are you so tired I'm like I talked for six hours today you know I overcame a, some objections I, I told a bunch of stories I had to build a rapport but it's a very demanding job and if you're if you have a significant other and you've never done sales before you're probably gonna have to sit down with them and have this conversation and go hey look you know I got a new job I'm gonna do sales but from what I hear it's demanding we just need to have a conversation so that like when I come home and I'm frustrated I don't want you to think that I'm taking it out on you right but here's the thing you've got to find a really good mentor you got to constantly keep reading books you got to constantly keep your mind fed and you got to stay away from negative people so there's the whole mental aspect of it I'm just gonna I'm gonna give you the, the shortcut but please believe it took me a long time to learn this. So it's a shortcut for you, but it was a long cut for me. So read really good books and they don't all have to be on sales. Read about like Think and Grow Rich, you know, read books on communication, read books on, you know, business. Constantly read, constantly listen to CDs, constantly listen to or watch DVDs, but you know, um, stay away from all the negative stuff. It's really easy like, you know what, I like politics, I'm gonna listen to this guy, or I like politics, I'm gonna listen to this guy. I don't care what side of the, the aisle you're on, I don't care you know, if you're a Democrat, I don't care if you're a Republican, I don't care if you're somewhere in between or on the outer fringe. You get caught up in that stuff, it's gonna kill yourselves. So read good books, listen to really good motivational stuff because you're gonna need it. And you know what, you might need to look into doing some sort of therapy with the person that you're with. Otherwise, sales is very demanding, you can end up losing that person. Understand how to communicate. Understand that all these things are normal. And you know, I, I interviewed Bob Beverly in November last year in 2015, and he's one of my good friends. He's a therapist and he's done 40,000 hours of therapy. He's like, look, if your car's broken, you go to a mechanic. If you're too, too certain, you go see a dentist. But a lot of times people don't want to admit that they need to get help from a, from a psychiatrist or psychologist because they don't want to look silly, right? But I would much rather take all the pain and problems and move them to the side and say, I don't need to do it that way. I'm gonna go talk to somebody and get the help that I need, okay? So sales is very mentally demanding. So deal with it now, stay positive, get away from negative people and find a really good mentor, someone who's gonna show you the ropes, okay? So that's video number one. Be careful because if you're not ready for this and you're getting into it, it's gonna be a challenge. It's just like it's anything else that's brand new. It takes a little bit of time, effort, and energy to learn or a lot of time, energy, and effort to learn if you do it the wrong ways, okay? Now, if you could do a small favor for me in the box down below, leave a comment, question, or story, that would be fantastic. To the right or to the left, there's a subscribe button. You know what you gotta do, subscribe. And then send it out to all your friends via StumbleUpon, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, LinkedIn, Scott Sullivan Bell. Only Scott Bell, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, aloha.